Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing tonight? You're doing well. Wonderful. Hello and welcome to the first Fossil of the Day Award here at COP27 in Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt. Can I get a boo? Oh, you can do better than that. Just think about the lines you've been waiting on to buy food. Can I get a boo? Wonderful, thank you. And it is such a privilege to be with all of you today. For those of you who do not know, the Fossil of the Day Award is given out each day to the country that is the best, that being the worst, that does the most to do the least, and who tries in conference rooms, meeting rooms, plenaries, breakout rooms, over lunch, to make sure we do not reach a fair, just, and binding climate agreement. Can I get a boo? Boo! And as many of you know, the Fossil of the Word ceremony begins each day with the singing of the Fossil of the Day song. A song which dates back to time immemorial, or at least to COP5 or something, I don't, I don't really know, but we've been here a while now. Um, so we'd like to take a moment to join you, oh, and our defla slightly deflating dinosaur, you're looking great, in singing the Fossil of the Day song. <clears throat> And you know, now's the moment. Let all that rage out. Uh, really, sing with your heart. Uh, sing with your mind. <clears throat> Are we ready? Maestro, if you please. Of the day, fossil of the day. Who is bad? Who is worse? Fossil of the day, fossil of the day. All the blame, all the shame. And today we have uh, an exciting ceremony for you today. We've been waiting on this for three days. Uh, for some reason we weren't allowed to do this because heads of state were here. Uh, but anyway, um, but we want to welcome you, especially to this COP, this COP, because it's been a tough year for all of us. Unless you're a fossil fuel company or investor, in which case you've been making windfall profits, um, more money than we've ever seen before. So it hasn't really been a bad year for everybody. But we're back at COP, which means we all have to remember the acronyms, uh, all of them that you know we get all a little bit lost on. But we're here with some clear missions. One of them is, you know. It's been a tough year. People have been impacted all over the world. It's time to have some finance agreements around loss and damage. Yeah? Um, and, and we should also take a moment to thank our host, uh, Egypt, who, who's really, it, it feels like our every need is being attended to. Uh, they're really on it. It's almost as if they've sort of been, you know, like, hearing what we were saying and wondering uh, about, uh, you know, and trying to, you know, know what was going on. Uh, but they've really been on the ball about, uh, you know, most things like that. Um, and, you know, and they've been trying to remind us what climate emergency means, you know, what it's like to be thirsty. You know, they're leaving all the water jugs empty on purpose. You know, what it feels like to be displaced, having to rebook our hotel rooms, you know, quite a few times. You know, like, they're trying to really get us into the whole mood of this. Um, and importantly, we're in this beautiful Sharm El Sheikh with the wonderful population who's welcoming us so well um, and would encourage all of you to make sure you go out and see some of the beautiful coral reefs that are around here. Uh, but really go soon, because the way things are going, they're not going to be here for very long. So really, but maybe take the afternoon off tomorrow or something. Um, and welcome to the Fossil of the Day COP27 Finance Day. Um, and uh, which you may have noticed if you bought food today, uh, it's, uh, it's quite an issue. Um, and, you know, let's remember the IPC chairman's call, that it, we must prioritize finance to the most vulnerable nations. Uh, what we've seen this year has gone beyond the scientists. Now all of us are living this ourselves with the floods and the droughts and the fires and the infectious disease and the insects eating forests and then the ice caps melting and extinction. You know, the, the, way, the daily news is starting to look a little bit like a, the book of revelations. Um, 
let's get our fin finance day. Um, we're going to start talking now about our, finan our finance day fossil of the day award winner, who's not just headed, uh, who's not just stalling progress, but is actually heading in the wrong direction. Can we get a boo for today's fossil of the war of the day award winner? Oh, hey, everybody, where are you going? Uh, no, no, that's the wrong way. You, you know, you're supposed to be headed that way. What's what's going on? You, today's fossil award winner is headed in the completely wrong direction. All right, get out of here. You're you know you're heading the wrong way. Move along, move along. Come on, I know it's hard to see in there, but you know. <clears throat> Oh, there we go, great boo. Okay, because today's Fossil of the Day award goes to the world's largest public financier of fossil fuels, which is, come on, people, that's so 1990s to be funding fossil fuels. Uh, and they're not just, uh, they're putting their money into driving the expansion of gas across Asia, Mo Mozambique, Philippines, you know, trying to get, get dry gas out of diversity hotspots. And they're even pushing for new gas fields in Vietnam at the same time that they're pushing Vietnam uh, to improve their climate policy. Today's Fossil Award winner is the fifth largest emitter. And they're one of the reasons to blame why those coral reefs that you might not have time to see because you're too busy might not be here much longer. So, <clears throat> can we get a, a drum roll if you please, everybody? This week we'll like Today's Fossil of the Day Award goes to Japan! Whoa. Today is Finance Day at COP27, which makes it the perfect time to reflect on the climate-related financial flows of the world's richest countries. And no country's finance is flowing more than Japan's, but in the completely wrong direction. Japan is the world's largest public financier for oil, gas, and coal projects, contributing 10.6 billion US dollars per year on average between 2019 and 2021, despite international recognition that meeting the 1.5 degree goal means ending investment in fossil fuels. The Japanese government is making huge efforts to export false solutions to other countries, such as using ammonia for coal-fired power plants, which just meant to extend the life of coal power beyond 2030. One more boo for that, yeah? As you may or may not have noticed, Prime Minister Kishida didn't even come to the Leader Summit here in Sharm. Maybe he was too busy promoting false solutions uh, back in Japan. In a year of unprecedented climate disasters with vulnerable c communities all over the world suffering from the impacts of climate change, Japan's public finances are flowing into fossil fuel projects responsible for this destruction, rather than going towards financing the loss and damage caused by its own greenhouse gas emissions. Can we get a boo? And can someone come up and accept this prestigious award? <laughs> oh, Japan! Oh, come on. Here you go. Stand. Take your... You, you've earned this one. Here you are. Here's your award. And you can hold this. Uh, is there anything you could possibly say for yourself, Japan? Well, of course I do. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. And uh, first of all, I'd like to express my deepest sympathy to everyone in the world who are suffering from climate disasters. Today is Finance Day, as you said. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, it seems that you and the Japanese government have a different ideas on finance flow, on uh, transition to a, a carbon neutral society, but I believe investment is critical to transaction, transition to the new world. And I believe also the, uh, pro <laughs> I also believe the potential of oil, gas, and coal. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh. Can you say that one more time to the folks back home? I don't think they heard you back there in Japan. 